Hi, uh, in this video we are going to uh, see about the fire tube boiler, uh, water tube boiler is Babcock and Wilcox boiler. So we are seeing about boilers in this module. Boilers is the one which is going to be produce steam by applying of heat in the water. Okay, so uh, so now Babcock and Wilcox boiler is a horizontal drum axis and uh, natural draft, natural circulation, uh, multi-tubular, it's a stationary boiler and the fuel fire, we are putting fuel inside, the externally fired water tubed boiler. So in the earlier videos we have studied the fire tube boiler Lancashire uh, where uh, the tube is, uh, the hot flue gases are passed through the tube and surrounding the tube water is present in a drum so the water gets heated up with the hot flue gases and the steam is getting produced it is there in the Lancashire but in the case of a fire tube water tube boiler water is going through the tubes and fire is outside externally it fires this water so you can see the construction of this fire tube boiler Babcock and Wilcox boiler. So you can see this is a drum with water and uh, that water there are two important heads are there one is uh, intake and uh, this uptake head okay, down take header. So the right side of this uh, down take header you can say the water is coming downwards the blue color indicates the water the water comes downwards and it, it is filled in the uh, pipes. Normally you know that uh, uh, the, there is a heat difference when the hot and cold water is that get combined normally hot will move upward okay uh, cold water will be at the bottom this is what the logic how it is going to be taken place so we can see here the water once the water is getting filled in the drum the water is get uh, getting down to the uh, down uh, down take header and it is filled in the tubes the tubes are uh, then at the bottom uh, coal is getting fired the grate is that there we are putting the fuel and we are burning it so the entire area is hot very hot fuel uh, flue gases are spreading the hot flue gases will passes through over the tubes so when the hot flue gases passes over the uh, tubes the water inside the tubes are uh, heated up so and there is a baffle plates which directs the flow of uh, flue gas in a proper way that is always it contact every uh, uh, tube and it will goes to the chimney so the uh, at the right end uh, the top uh, you can see the chimney so hot flue gases will pass through this and it will go to the chimney so uh, here the water is getting heated up and a steam is getting generated the hot steam it automatically moves upward in the tubes and it is going to be get uh, settled in the uh, top of the boiler uh, drum by using the uptake header and there in the top of the drum there is a safety valves and a steam stop valve will be there a manhole is also there so uh, the steam when the steam is getting uh, saved over on the top then by using uh, valves it is uh, steam uh, stop valve is there and other valves are pressure gauge will be there water level indicator will be there so these are all the things in the uh, boiler and this will help uh, to bring the steam to the turbine by using the pipes so that it will heat on the turbine and uh, it rotates the turbine so the various parts here we have to concentrate is on the drum drum where the water is getting uh, filled up it contains the water down take header as the one where the rear end of the boiler where it is connected to the water tube and it receives the water from the drum like that uptake is after getting the heat the steam is getting uh, heat and then it goes to the boiler upward so uptake header and water tubes or the tubes where uh, water is flowing inside so and uh, what steam is circulating outside so the baffle plates or the plates where the water tubes which is present the water tubes it allows the zigzag movement of the flue gas uh, to have a much contact in this uh, tubes over the tubes next to fire door the, it, there the coal is going to be fired over there 
and the mud collector at the bottom of the downtake header it is used to collect the mud settled at the water from the water and feed check wall uh, these are all the valves which is used to fill the water into the drum so how much water we have to fill the uh, to control the flow of water some uh, check valves is needed so according to this uh, generation of uh, steam uh, water is to be filled up thoroughly so uh, normally the water uh, comes through the head uh, down taker and gets heated up the hot flow gases so these hot flow gases come from the contact with the water tubes and convert uh, the water into the steam this is what uh, again we are saying this process working principle the steam is generated upward and through the uptake header and uh, settles in the top so the dry steam enter into the supergator after that uh, the dry steam which is uh, settled on the top of the steam uh, drum it is enter into the supergator the supergator receives the water free steam from the anti priming pipe so it increases the temperature of steam to the desired level uh, and the transfer to the steam stop wall so uh, normally in the steam there is a wet condition already we have discussed wet steam dry steam and supergator steam so the wet steam if it goes to the turbine then on the efficiency of the turbine will be less and the, the steam will be less there is rotation of the turbine and then the water particles continuously contact with the turbine it makes corrode the turbine so we, continuous water particles should be avoided so in the steam itself uh, we are heating much still we are heating the steam the steam totally the water particle in the steam should be avoided so the wet steam is further heated up and it becomes dry steam and the dry steam and again we are sending to the superheater where it is getting superheated stage where totally uh, it's a gaseous stage of steam comes so it will uh, send it to the turbine so that the turbine is used for the uh, rotation of and the production of electricity so here where the uh, application is where it is used in industries mainly high pressure steam in the power generation industries uh, so to produce electricity in uh, thermal power station and all we can see a high pressure steam is needed for the production of electricity what is the disadvantages of this uh, babcock and wilcox so here it is not suitable for impure sedimentary water yeah water should be purified so we need some uh, purification process otherwise water is uh, the sedimentary water water gets sedimented the salt water gets sedimented inside the uh, pipe so a scale may deposit in the tubes and uh, it in future it can uh, have a damage to the pipes so water is also not flowing properly these are all the uh, things will come so uh, treatment is important and the continuous uh, supply of feed uh, water is required uh, suppose what will happen if water is no shortage then boiler overheat gets overheated so here the difference between fire tube and water tube place uh, hot flow gases uh, are inside the tube and water is outside in fire tube uh, why in water tube water is inside the tube and hot flow gases are outside and it works uh, fire tube works the limited to 25 bar but water tubes work more than the 25 bar uh, so that the fire tube is not suitable for larger pressure but water tube is uh, used for the larger power plants okay and uh, high pressure the change of explosion the ch chance of explosion is less in fire tube boiler because water is fully surrounded the pipe even if what happens the water is getting uh, the fire of the pressure what it is created or the uh, explosion explosion uh, is not much uh, effective and here in in case if it comes that there is a less chance of uh, effective explosion will be there but in water tube uh, there is high pressure due to high pressure uh, water tube boiler having more chances next uh, producing process uh, it requires less skill efficient economic worker here more skilled people are needed and there is no problem of scale deposition very important point is the fire tube boiler there is no deposition of scale because water is filled in the entire drum but uh, uh, here in water tube uh, the 
pipes the water is going through the small pipes so there is a possibility of settlement of this scale scale over there in the tubes in uh, over periods so this is one important drawback in this water tube boiler next we will see the remaining uh, thing on the boilers uh, mountings and accessories